Good morning. I gotta move my little step stool. Happy Friday to all of you watching at home. I'm pull down the shade because it's a little bright. And move on with our morning. Okay, I don't believe that Kinsey and Wells are gonna join us today because they started their break a little early. Now I brought up a book and then I forgot it. Such is the life. Um, okay, let me grab my computer and open it up. Today is Friday and it is voting day. We will vote on our letter P, words. Um, what are you doing over the weekend? I am gonna be cleaning and getting the house ready. Um, just a reminder that next week, um, all week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we will not have camp kindergarten. Um, I originally decided Monday we would have off because I have pictures being taken of the inside of my house to sell it. And then I realized we just need a break. So um, I decided to have a winter break next week so we won't have camp. And then I found out that Wells doesn't even have school on Friday. So we would have only just had three days anyway. So perfect week for a break. Um, but we will be back um, on the 16th, which is a Tuesday, because that Monday is President's Day. Um, let me find my post. It's uh, getting a little lost in here. Let me see here. Bum, ba, da, bum, ba, bum, bum, bum. Okay, I keep finding. There we go. Hold on. find today's post. Where are we? Are we live? I think so. Let me just get out of Facebook and get back in. All right. Let's see here. Sorry. <sighs> Let's hope this is the right one. There we go. Found it. Okay. Open that up. then I can get some good mornings in order for those of you who are tuning in today. All right, good morning to Kieran and Kevin and Caitlin and Gwendolyn, Wyatt and Joshua and Brody and Charlotte and Jasmine, Owen. Pops does start with the P, you're right. Um, good morning, Ava and Maddie and Priscilla. Good morning, Gracie Bear and Francesca and Declan. Thank you very much. Good morning, Deborah and Bryce and Jacob. Thank you very much. Good morning, Keely and Connor and Violet and Aiden and Adeline. Ooh, Adeline's getting ready for her birthday on Monday. Let me put that down. Adeline. Adeline how old is Adeline turning on Monday? Monday is the 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th. All right. Um, good morning, Evelyn and Addie and Charlie and Ellison and Nolan and Hamilton and Jocelyn and Ella from Illinois. Oh, welcome. You're new to the class. Normally my girls, well, normally Kinsey's with me, but she started her break a little early today. Um, good morning, Benjamin and Bennett and Isaac, and Sophia, and Aria, and Nate, and Elijah, and Emma, and Josie, and Liza, and Thomas, and Tripp, and Declan, and Nora, and Carson, and Layla, and Carleen, and Eliana, and Michelle, and Emma, and Nora, and Tristan, and Cody, and Robert, and Leonardo, and Wyatt, and Wilder, and Lily Joe and Lila, and Emberland. Thank you. Evelyn will be fine. Um, good morning, Ava. All right, let us see how we're feeling today. Grab my guitar. Oof. And my pick. And we will get ourselves moving. Good morning, Josephine. Thank you for joining us. Good morning, Dexter and Grace.
Joe is feeling, Robbie is happy that it's Friday. Mackenzie, good morning to you. Good morning, Abby and Allie. Um, Layla is feeling happy. And good morning, Sebastian. I am happy. I'm also very tired. Um, but I'm feeling good about the progress that I've made about organizing and decluttering my closet. Let's all jump up and down and get some energy out on this Friday morning. joining in on that lovely song. All right, I think I had a few more people joining, so let me see. Good morning, Scarlett and Oliver and Otello and Owen and Zoe and Caitlin and Parker and Olivia, Emma and Wyatt. Um, ba -bum -bum -bum, ba -dum -ba -dum -bum -bum. Good morning, good morning, good morning to Maddie and Ellie and Mackenzie and Annabelle and I think I did those. Zach and CJ, hmm. I don't know how to read Spanish very well, so I'm not sure what that one says. I know it's something about mama, but I don't know. Um, thank you, Sarah, oh, and thank you, Glory, and good morning to Alex and Amanda. Let's do some phonemic awareness. Let's see, we are going to start with a word. Family, you all are so good at coming up with words. I wonder what our word family is going to be today. Let me grab one and we will see. We are going to do the et family. These are the letters E and T and what sound is E make? Eh, eh, eh. Thank you, Carol. Good morning, Cora and Mackenzie. Um, so, let's see here. What am I going to put, what letter am I going to put at the beginning, the beginning is over here, the beginning of this word. This is a what? This is a whoosh. This is a net. So we are going to put the letter that makes the 
mmm sound. What letter makes the mmm sound? If you said, very good, Harper. Harper said N. Very good. So let's make an N. We start at the fence, go down to the ground, right back up to the fence, and camel hump number one. This is the word net. N et. Can you think of any other words that can be part of the et family? The way that we do that is we take and we think about any letter in the alphabet, except for vowels. And we think about anything. What I like to do is I like to start with my name, okay? So my name is Miss Megan, and Megan begins with what letter? Mmm, M. So I'll say, okay, I'm gonna use the letter M. I'm gonna take the letter M, and I'm going to put it in front of et, and I'm gonna get a new word. M, E, T. What is my new word? Mmm, et. It is the word met. Very good, all right. Let's see here. Um, <clears throat> Audrey wants to put an L at the beginning of et. What sound does L make? Oh, 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 very good. So we're going to put L, E, T. What is our new word? L, et, let. Very good. Let's see here. Morning, Ryu and Kai. And Arlene and Harper. Um, I see somebody has put ooh, has put a this letter. What letter is this? Oh, we're working on that this week. What letter is that? If you said the letter P, good job. And what sound does P make? Very good. If we put P in front of et, we get. Like, Coda is my pet. And I said another word right as I was doing that. That is part of the et family. Did you catch it? It starts with the g sound. G, g, g. It's the letter G. G, E, T is what? G, et, get. Very good, we're gonna do a couple more. We have lots of people. Oh, this one goes right along with pet. I'm going to take my pet to the v, 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 et, v, et, vet. I am going to get my pet and let her go to the vet. Look at that, so fun. All right, there's a few more here. Add a s at the beginning, and the word is s et, set. We are all set. Good job, Kieran. Um, and let's see. Oh, we're going to put a B in front. What sound does B make? B, 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 with the et, B, et, bet. Good job, you, guys, you all are doing such a great job coming up with all these words. Let's do one more. We're going to add a Y. We have not talked about the letter Y. A Y makes like a yo-yo, a Y sound. Y, Y, Y. So we're going to add a Y in front of the et. And our new word is Y, et, yet. Okay, so let's repeat after me. I'm going to put my marker down. <clears throat> and let's repeat after me. That means I go first while you listen and then you say the word after me. Net. Met. Net. Let. Let. Pet. Pet. Get. Get. Vet. Vet. Set. Set. Bet. Bet. And yet. Very nice job. I'll put that right here so we can look at it with our class. And let us keep moving along with our phonemic grammar. All right. We're going to do some which word begins like and see if you can come up with the word. Okay? Remember, the beginning of the word is over here. This is the beginning. This is the middle. This is the end. 
okay? So, which word begins, that means over here, what sound do you hear first? Which word begins like bench, give, or bowl? Bench, bowl, very good. Which word begins like team, you're listening for the beginning sound, T team, turn, or dime? Very good, it is t turn, turn and team have the same beginning sound, turn and team. My turn. Which word begins like weak? Weak. World or rink? What is that beginning sound? Wink. Oh, not wink. Weak. If you said world, you give yourself a pat on the back. Two more. Which word begins like itchy? Add or ignore? Good, it is ignore. And which word begins like hook? Hook. Him or left? Him. Very good. All right, get your smushers ready. Get them ready. Smush, smush, smush. We're going to smush together a word. We have our beginning sound and our ending sound. Our ending sound is like our word family, like we did over here. Our beginning sound is n. And our ending sound is et. N, et, net. Okay, let's try. We're gonna do this quickly, okay? So repeat after me. P ig. Pig, very good. F om. Foam, very good. R, ak. R, ak. Rock, my turn. K, ave. Listen to me first. My turn. N app. Your turn. N app. Nap. A nap sounds so great today. <laughs> My turn. D om. D om. Dome. Very good. My turn. M s. M s. Mess. Please don't make a mess in my nice clean house. My turn. B eek. B eek. Beak. Very good. My turn. K. Ut. Your turn. K. Ut. Cut. And the last one is R. Ipe. R. Ipe. Ripe. Very good. The bananas are ripe. Um, good morning. Good morning, Cameron. Good morning, Kasha. All right. Get your punchers up. We're going to punch our ending sound. The sound that's at the end of the word. We're going to punch those up. Okay. So I'm going to say the word, and then you are going to repeat the word, and we're going to say the ending sound. My turn. Dress. Dress. What's the ending sound? S, s, s. My turn. Smile. Smile. Pull, pull, pull. My turn. Grove. Grove. V, v, v. My turn. Hope. And the last one is breeze. Breeze. Z, z, z. Yes, we learned. Oh, my sister and I are down in South Pacific. Can we get on? Can we get on? Hold on. Hold on. Bring them some pants. Can we get a shirt? And I'm going to put those on and some socks. Mm -hmm. And um, can I get on my stuff to go? No, I can't let you go outside just yet because it is like negative numbers outside and it's too cold and it's not good for your skin if it is exposed for very long outside. Okay? You guys can go play in the bounce house. But oh first, God. first, you need to brush your teeth when you uh, wake up in the morning. Uh, no, I need to eat still more food. Oh, okay. Well, finish your food and then brush your teeth and then you go play. Okay. Alright. It is so cold. We'll get to this when it gets to the weather time. Alright. We're done with putting the warmness. Let's sing another song. I reorganized some of the stuff in here so that it's not as uh, cluttery looking. So, let's see here. Bum, ba, da, bum. Oh, let's do that one. I've had requests for shoe tire, but I keep forgetting to practice it, and I don't have the chords written down, so I don't remember how it goes. Alright, we're going to do the peanut butter and jelly song. A 
another Miss Megan original. You can find it on music platforms all around. Alright. And like the old days, I put my pick down and didn't know where I put it. The peanut butter and jelly song. Alright. If you are sitting, you may stand up, you may dance around, you may sing along to the song. Sing along to the song. Along song. Those are rhyming words. where Kinsale is and Kinsey is playing with her sister right now. Um, it was one of those mornings where I did not want to get out of bed and so uh, and they didn't want to get out of their jammies and they just wanted to have kind of a lazy morning today and I thought you know what fine whatever we'll just start your break a little early so she is playing with her sister. All right let's do our months of the year. Bum, ba, da, bum, bum, ba, da, bum. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. We're going to go turbo speed. January, February, March, April, May. We go outside and play, play, play. June, July, August, and September. Back to school so we remember. October, November, and December. We know our months so we end song here. Yeah. We know our months so we end song here. Woo! All right. Let's get on with our calendar today. Oh, my pick just fell into my sound hole of my guitar. Bum, ba, da, bum, bum, bum. I dropped my pick in my sound hole of my guitar. All right, let's take a look at our calendar. There is the month of 
February. February is the second month in our year. January, February. All right. We are in the month of February. There are lots of hearts because in a few days it is Valentine's Day where you show the people that you love how much you love them and how much you care about them. But today is not Valentine's Day. Today is the what, what day of February? One, two, three, four, five. It is the fifth day. I can't do this with my feet. It is the fifth day of February. Fifth day of February. Both begin with what sound? Fifth February. <laughs> if you said F, good job. The letter F. Sound. All right. One, two, three, four. Oh! Did I make a mistake? Did I make a mistake with my pattern? Red, pink. Red, pink. Pink. Uh oh. What do I need to do? I need to turn this around so that it is red. Red, pink. Red, pink. Red. Would you like to say good morning, my sweet girl? Come here, you. Oh, because Shab was just asking where you were, and so I said, oh, she's playing with her sister. And or her I sister needs to, to start. To the rest of my vitamins. Yes, you do, because I told you you needed to eat your vitamins before you go playing, right? 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 Yeah. And we were playing keepy uppy, and now, after we brush our teeth, we're playing keepy uppy in the bathroom. Can you tell them what the, how do you, how do you play the game, keepy uppy? Keepy uppy okay. is a, when you keep the balloon in the air. Oh. It's keep keepy the, uppy, huh? No, keepy uppy is keep the balloon up in the air, that game. Ah. Is it a fun game to play? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. And, and in the van path, it's even funner. It's more fun. What? All right. Well, why don't you go, why don't you go finish your vitamins so that you can go play? Okay. Good sale. Did you hear me? Where is it? Okay. All right. Kinsey. Sweetheart. What? Finish chewing your vitamins, please. All right. We did one, two, three, what? five. Today is Friday. Can you shut the door on your way out? Please? What? Thank you. Hey, wait a second. Kinsale. What? Do you want to be part of voting today or no? Yeah. Okay. I'll call you back up when it's time to vote. Today is Friday. What was, if today is Friday, what was yesterday? Bum, ba, bum, bum, bum. Yesterday was Thursday. If today is Friday, what will tomorrow be? Bum, ba, bum, bum, bum. Saturday, very good. Oh, um, sorry, I missed that. Um, it is so important, Kinsey does not like taking her vitamins because she doesn't like how they taste. Um, and she also doesn't like to eat anything chewy or gummy. So there's only a couple options for vitamins for Kinsey because most of the vitamins are gummy. And so she takes a vitamin and she takes something called a probiotic. And a probiotic helps keep your inside um, working right. Um, and vitamins are so important to help you grow and help your bodies be healthy. And so um, because she doesn't like to eat them, sometimes it's a struggle in the morning for her to get moving after she holds them in her mouth until they dissolve and it takes a really long time. So uh, we have to remember to chew our vitamins up, otherwise we could choke on them. So we don't want that to happen. All right, um, bum, bum, bum. we need to do our weather. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it sunny? Is it rainy? Is it cloudy? Oh my gosh, I don't think I did that right. Uh, what's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it sunny? Is it rainy? Is it snowy out today? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it cloudy? Is it windy? Is it foggy out today? See how much motions can help you remember things? As soon as I did the motions, I could remember the words. The weather here today is frigid. That means it is so, 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 so cold. Remember how we talked about negative numbers yesterday? When I woke up today, it said that it was two and it felt like negative eight. Um, so it's really cold out today, and um, which is why 
Normally I would want the girls to go outside and play, but it can be a little dangerous if it's too cold. Um, okay, it is snowing somewhere in the United States. <laughs> um, Emma says it's cold and sunny and snow on the ground in central Indiana, this orange state right here. It is cold and snowing in New Hampshire. Boop, another orange state. It is cold and rainy in central Texas. Right here, central Texas is in the middle of Texas. It's 25 and, ah, uh, it's 25 in New Mexico, right over here. It is um, dark and cloudy in South Carolina. South Carolina over here. There is snow on the ground in Michigan. Michigan, it is snowing in Massachusetts. This uh, purple state over here. It is snowing and cold in southeastern Michigan. That is kind of um, north south east, so over here. <laughs> um, it is sunny in California, right over here. It is snowing and dark in Vermont. Hmm. Normally at this time of the day in the East Coast, it is um, not dark in the morning. So I'm wondering if you're going to be getting some snow later today. Um, it is cold, sunny and windy in uh, central Wisconsin, our neighbor to the north. And it feels like negative 14. Burr! It is raining in South Jersey. Where are you, New Jersey? There you are. Boop, 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 boop. Um, it is sunny and 24 in St. Louis, Missouri. Missouri right here. I do have to go outside today and blow the snow. We got snow last night. I didn't have a chance to snow blow the driveway, so I'm going to have to do that quickly. I'm going to wear my mask. I'm going to wear something, sunglasses. I'm going to pull my hat down to like here. I'm going to do it as fast as I can. I'll be okay. Um, all right, let us move right along with how many days we've been in camp kindergarten. Okay. Oof. Yesterday we made a 10 pack. Okay, we have got nine 10 packs in our 10 pack uh, bin. Uh oh, we're frozen. Okay, today we need to add one straw to the ones cup. So. We add our one straw to the ones cup. Now, how many ones do I have? I don't have zero anymore. I have one. So I'm going to add a one. Where are you? There's a one. And we're going to count all together now. I'm going to start by ten packs. Are you ready to help me count by tens? Here we go. Ten. Twenty. Thirty. Forty. Fifty. Sixty. Seventy. Eighty. Ninety. Ninety-one. We have been in camp kindergarten for ninety-one days. Ninety-one days? That's a lot of days. And that's not even all of them. That's just this school year. My goodness. All right. Um, let us move along. We're going to sing another song. Uh, that just keeps happening. Move along and song. Those are both rhyming words, aren't they? All right. We're going to sing another song, and then we're going to move um, on to our message for today. I'm going to grab my guitar, and I'm going to need your help getting this pick out of the guitar because when I stuck my pick in the strings... It fell down into the sound hole. But you all are so good at helping me get my guitar pick out by helping me count down three, two, one. Can you hear it? All right, I can see it. All right, I'm gonna need you to help me count. Are you ready? Let's count down. Instead of going one, two, three, let's go three, two, one. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. I didn't get it that time. Remember, the last time I did this, did I get it on my first try? No, I didn't. Did I get it on my second try? No, I didn't. I did get it on my third try, but it was pretty close. All right, let's try again. Ready? Count down from three. Three, two, one. Oh, that one, the guitar hit my stomach on that one. Let's try it again. All right, here we go. Get it all lined up. It's all about... 
the finesse, how smooth we can be. Three, two, one. Nope. All right, this is gonna be my last time trying and then I'll use a new pick and then I'll get it out later. song. Remember, um, if you are a Lori Berkner fan, um, she is giving a, uh, a, um, a virtual uh, concert on Valentine's Day. We bought our ticket. I think the ticket was $20 and there's two different time slots that you could um, watch at or you could watch at both of them, I believe. Um, I'll put a link up to that after class today. I put one up earlier this week, but I just want to also um, give a big shout out to Lori Berkner because we love her music. And when the pandemic began, um, I didn't have any of my own original music. Um, I only knew how to do other people's music and I needed permission and she gave me permission to use her songs. So um, that was pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome too that we've written so many songs over this um, almost year that we've been together. We're gonna do the Buzz Buzz song. Mommy? Yes? Kenzie's not even done chewing her leg in the middle. Okay, then you need to go sit at the table and, and you're not, not going to leave the table until you're done chewing your vitamin. Well, why don't you go put your, some clothes on, okay? Um, I don't want to put any clothes on. Okay.
stick over here. Gotta remember where it is. And we are going to read our message, but not without our guests of the week. We have Policewoman Penny and Pirate Pete joining us yet again for some message. Pop that up there like that. Ba -dum -bum -bum. Ba -dum -bum -bum. All right. Grab our friends. <sighs> We're going to start with Police Woman Penny. Why, hello there, boys and girls. It's lovely to see you again. How have you been? Well, hello there, Police Woman Penny. How have you been? I'm just going to fix your hat for you. Oh, thank you. Sometimes it gets a little messed up, but it's okay. I don't mind. Oh, well, good. Um, how have you been? Have you been busy? Oh, not really. It's been pretty slow since it's been super cold. Oh, well, that's, that's, that's good. I'm glad that you haven't been super busy because that means people are behaving themselves. Oh, yes. Yes, they are. Uh, okay, well, you know what? Um, it's really cold out and I'm a little chilly, so I think I need to go get my sweater. So I'm going to go back to the station and you have a lovely day, okay? All right. Well, thanks for joining us. Toodaloo. Nope, I can hear them. They're downstairs. I thought I heard the door rattling a little bit. All right, it is time. I think Pirate Pete might be one of my favorite characters because I really like his voice. Why, hello there, Pirate Pete. Hello there, mateys. How are you doing today? Oh, we are doing well. How are you? Well, I'm mighty good. Thank you for asking. <laughs> um, Pirate Pete, um, would you like to help us with our message? Ah, you betcha, Miss Megan. I just love to read. You love to read? Why, yes I do. It's one of my favorite things to do. Well, what kind of books do you like to read? I like to read Harry Potter. You know, we're in the middle. Well, we've started with Harry Potter, um, and it's pretty good, isn't it? Ah, yes. It's a little spooky at times, and I love me some spooky. <laughs> but it's not spooky all the time. No, just some of the time. Um, Pirate Pete, have you always known how to read? Oh, Miss Megan, no. When I was a wee little lad, I did not know how to read. Well, did you find that frustrating? Ah. Sometimes I did, and sometimes I didn't. Sometimes I would just look at the pictures and follow and make up my own words to the pictures. And guess what? That was reading to me. You know what, Pete? That's exactly right. If you have a book, like let's say you have this book here that we read yesterday, and you open it up to a page, and you start looking at it. Hold on, I have to put you down here. And you start looking at it, and you don't know what those words say because you don't know how to read the actual words yet. Guess what? You can make up your own words based on what you see happening in the pictures. And guess what? I, Miss Megan, consider that reading. So I would like for you to try that at home. So, for example, if I was reading this book without reading the words, I would say, oh, look, there's Pete the Cat. Pete the cat and his friend. I don't know his friend's name, but that's okay. It's his friend. And look at that. They're sitting at a table, and it looks like Pete is stirring the batter. And this looks like some milk. Hmm, I wonder what they're doing. That would be how I would read this page. And then I would go to the next page. And then I would say, hmm, there's Pete, and he's wearing some oven mitts, and there's his friend. Hmm, huh. and look at all those cupcakes sitting on the windowsill. Hmm, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And guess what? That's what I would. That's how I would read that. Did I read these words? No. But did I talk about what's happening in the story? And I would go to the next page. And I would say, oh, look, Pete the cat and his friend, they're looking at the window. And what do they see on the window? Huh. It looks like some cupcakes are not there anymore. Maybe we should count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, there's only eight. Huh. I wonder what happened. Were those the words that were on the page? No. Did I make up my own words? 
I sure did. Does that count as reading in Miss Megan's book? Yes, it does. So I want you to work on that over break. I have to open up this door. It's jiggling, and I'm not sure why. And the noise is bothering me. All right, so your homework over break is to read, like I just read, a book to somebody. Okay, you don't have to read the actual words. You can make up your own words about the pictures that are going on. Ah, Miss Megan, that sounds like a mighty great idea. <laughs> yes, it does. Would you like to help me read the message? You betcha. Dear class. Dear class. Today is Friday, February 5th, 2021. Today is Friday, February 5th, 2021. Next week is our winter break. We will not have camp next week. We will return on February 16th, 2021. You just read two sentences. Oops and daisies, that's okay. Next week is our winter break. We will not have camp next week. We will return on February 16th, 2021. Love. Love Miss Megan. Um, Pirate Pete, we need to vote on our letter P words today. Ah, yes you do. Maybe you should get the board ready. I would love to get the board ready. I like a good board, and we like to walk the plank and jump into the water. <laughs> okay. All right, let me erase this and get our words ready, and then I need to run down and get Kinsey, because she wanted to participate in the voting. Um, and I can hear them downstairs right now, and I'm not sure how they're going right now, but we'll find out. How many vertical lines do I need? Sorry, I thought somebody was hurt. All right, I have one, two, three, four, five words. One. Two, three, four, five. Now, how many vertical lines do you think I need? I want to put a line in between each of these pictures. So how many lines do we need? Let's count. One. Oh, that, that marker does not work. Let me get rid of that marker. Let's try another one. One, two, three, four vertical lines. I feel as though a game of Simon Says might be coming up. How many horizontal lines do I need? We're going to make one horizontal line and two horizontal lines. That does not leave me much room up there, but that's okay. All right, let's do a quick game of Sam Says, and then I'm going to grab Kinsey. Okay, it does sound like a wild game of PPFE. You're right. <laughs> uh, oh, wait a second. There's a joke from Audrey. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's for Pirate Pete. Hold on. Let me get Pirate Pete back here. All right, Audrey has, Audrey has a joke for you. Oh, Miss Megan, I love me some jokes. Okay, this is a joke from Audrey. Are you ready? What's a pirate's favorite letter? Ah, that's easy, Miss Megan. It's the letter R. Ah, but Pirate Pete, it's not. It's like R, but it's missing a lead. Ah, 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 ah. Um, the answer is P. I missed the punchline. Let's try that again. We have a joke for Pirate Pete. What is pirates? What's a pirate's favorite letter? R. No, it's P. It's like an R, but it's missing a leg. <laughs> That's so funny. Thanks for the joke, Audrey. All right. Um, sorry, I messed that one up. Okay, let's do a quick game of Simon Says. Are you ready? Show me what does a vertical line look like with your arms. Very good. What does a horizontal line look like with your arms? Very good. And a diagonal line? This way or this way. Okay, shake it out. Are you ready? Simon Says vertical line. Simon Says horizontal line. Simon says vertical line, diagonal line. Ooh, Simon didn't say diagonal line. 
Okay, shake it up. Let's do it again. Simon says diagonal line. Simon says vertical line. Simon says diagonal line. Simon says horizontal line. Vertical line! Simon didn't say vertical line. I hear the girls coming up. Can we do it one more time? Simon says vertical line. Simon says diagonal line. Simon says vertical line. Simon says horizontal line. Vertical line! Hey, hey, Wallace and Kinsey. Um, voting is about to be about to begin. I said voting on the letter P is about to begin. Would you like to come vote? I don't think I. You want to keep playing keepy uppy? Yeah. Would you like me to tell you what your choices are? Yes. Okay. All right, they're going to vote from afar. So we have a pie. Pie, like apple pie or cherry pie. Um, that is the first one. The second one is bum, ba, ba, ba. pig. Hmm. The third one, oh, so good, is a Pizza. The third word is pumpkin. Pumpkin. And the last word is pear. So we have pie, pig, pizza, pizza pumpkin. Kinsey votes for all of them. You can vote for one. Wells votes for pizza. Um, Kinsey says she votes for all of them, so it doesn't make any sense to even put those all up there because they would all equal each other out. All right, voting has commenced. Wells has one for pizza. Let's see here. <coughs> we have another pizza. We have a pear. Uh, Jacob says pizza. Um, pizza for Zach. Oh, pizza's popular. Hi, baby girl. Um, Jocelyn votes for pizza. We got one vote for pie. Uh, two more votes for pizza. Boop, boop. Another vote for pig. Uh, another vote for pizza. Another vote for pizza. Do you like to eat pizza? I feel as though a lot of the people watching like to eat pizza. Caitlin votes for pumpkin. Thomas says pie. Um, Audrey votes for pie. Another vote for pizza. Sammy says yes on pizza. Eliana votes Mommy. for pizza as well. Mommy. Pizza, yes. Um. Nora votes for pumpkin. What, sweetheart? Well, she... Isaac and Sophie both say pear. What, sweetheart? Do you know where um, the balloons are? No, I don't know where I they think No, we're not blowing up any more balloons because I will have to pop them all because um, they are not going to be out when these pictures are taken on Monday. I know, but the reason I wanted a balloon is that... votes for pear. We're both playing a game Keep Me Uppy, but a different version of it, and we both need our own balloon to play. If you can find one more balloon, I will blow up one more balloon for you. Kinsey has one in her room. I All right, hold on. You guys are interrupting me, and I can't focus. Uh, Emma votes for pear. Another vote for pumpkin. Another vote for pizza. Pizza, please. Ooh, that was very lovely. Double P's. Um, Kieran votes for pumpkin. And Emma votes for pizza. And Nora votes for pizza. One. Oops. One, two. Um, another vote for pumpkin. Pizza and pumpkin from William and Colette. Pizza and pumpkin. Um, Carlene votes for pumpkin. Um, Olive, Olivia votes for pig. Boop. Um, Casey votes for pizza. Look at all those pizzas. Olivia, I think I got Olivia votes for pig. You're welcome. Um, ba -bum -bum -bum. we have another vote for pie. We have another vote for pig. We have another vote for pear. Ooh, it's a tight race between pumpkin and pear. Let's see, another vote for pizza. Um, another vote for pumpkin. Two more votes, one for pig, one for pie, one for pumpkin. Ooh, it's a tight race. We're gonna count down in three, two, one. Uh, oops, I did it wrong. Oh, guess what? We have a tie. Let's count these. Five. Fat Mr. Five goes down and around. Put a hat on top and see what you found. Oh, another five pack. 
Fat Mr. Five goes down and around. Put a head on top and see what you found. Time to vote for pizza. Five, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. A one and an eight is pizza. Pumpkin. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And pear. Five, six, seven, eight. All right, we have a conundrum. That means we need to figure something out. What's the biggest number up here? Five, five, 18, nine, or eight? 18 is, so pizza will be going up on our board. What's the next biggest number? Nine, eight, five, or five? Nine, very good, all right. And the next biggest number is five, yeah. five, or eight? Eight, very good. Now, here is the problem. We have a tie. We can only have four um, words up on our board, and I have three of them here. Pumpkin, pizza, and pear. But guess what? We have a tie between pie, pie, tie. Those rhyme. Between pie and pig. So guess what? We're going to do a vote off. I'm going to erase everything on the board here. And we are... You're only going to vote between pie and pig. And we are going to see which one has more votes. At the end, we're going to do this rapid speed. Okay, here's pig. Here's pie. Do a vertical line. All right, are you ready? Okay, I am going to say three, two, one. Good morning, Laura. All right, here we go. A vote for pie. Boop. Two votes for pig. Boop, boop. A vote for pie. pie. Just a minute. Bye. Another vote for pie. Another vote for pig. Another vote for pie. Ooh, it's a tight race. Two votes for pie. One, two. Out of the way, sweetheart. Another vote for pie. Sweetheart. Another vote for two more votes for pie. One, two. Another two votes for pie. One, two. Another vote for pig. One pie, one pig. Another vote for pie. Kinsey, can you count down from ten? Two votes for pie. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beep. Okay, let's count. Let's see what we have here. Let's start with pig. Five. Six for pig, let's count for pie. Five, 10, 15, 16, 17, 17 for pie. All right, which one is bigger? 17, 17 or six? 17 or six. 17 is bigger, so pie will be added to our board. If you chose pig and it didn't get up there, is that okay? It sure is, because it's all about just having fun, right? Okay, our time. Ooh is up for today, um, but we need to say happy birthday to some people who have birthdays over the next week. Guess what? If it is your birthday over the week and I didn't say your name, I will redo birthdays when we get back. Um, so if I do not call your name today and it is your birthday while we are not here, then let me know on Monday night, February 15th and not post, and I will say happy birthday to you when we get back on Tuesday, okay? So, it is, on Johnny is turning five on February 15th, Lou is turning five on February 16th, Archie is turning four on February 7th, Aiden is turning five on February 6th, Parker is turning four on February 10th, and Adeline is turning five on February 8th. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday if it's your birthday. Happy birthday to you. Okay, if it is your birthday, even if it's not, we're going to blow out the candle using our letter P sound. What sound does P make? One, two, three. Happy birthday. All right, everybody. Thank you for your understanding in this winter break. Um, there's a lot going on in our house over here, and it is uh, a much-needed break for us all. So, but we will be back, raring to go, on Tuesday, 
February 16th. Hey, I was trying to um, put over your head. Um, Mommy, you just either 8.15 or 8.30. And I think if it stays super duper cold like this, we'll probably move it back to 8.30, but um, we can't get outside and play. But we'll see. 8.15 is also hard for me because hey, we get up at like 7.30 and that's a tight um, time. I don't want you to keep Anyways, in the balloon. I hope that you all have a wonderful time off. I will see you in a week, a little over a week. Um, remember that what makes you different is what makes you beautiful. Always try your best to be kind. And Kinsey, what are we going to do? We're going to choose our attitude. All right, everybody. I'll see you later. Toodaloo. Have a wonderful weekend. Have a wonderful week. Bye.